Alright, so these are all the birds just being insane right in our house. You see um, the trees are full of them and then they're all flying around. And of course as soon as I take out, oh here they come again. Here they come again. Although it's gotten a lot lighter a minute ago. It was ridiculous. Um, but here we go. Here, here we go. This is a little more like how it was. Well, no, still pretty light. You can't see really well, but like even over far there, they're over the other houses too. And they're just, just flying and circling, flying and circling. And, um, our trees are bare. So all those things that look like leaves are actually birds. And they just keep coming, keep coming. We don't know if it's because of the storm that's coming or what, but they are being super crazy right now. There we go. Now, now you see more like what it was like. It is just birds and birds and birds and birds. They've become a little more coordinated. When I first came over here and started watching, they were like, it was like chaos. They were flying in different directions. It was just weird. Now it looks a little more organized. Oh, you All right, it's Monday night, around 9.45 p.m., and Irma has arrived, bringing with it some snow showers. Already, we can note the flakes are much bigger. I do this every, every time it starts to snow. We're going to do a date stamp. What's the date? but this is going to carry on into the 16th, which I can't help but notice that's the 15 year anniversary of one of the best snows in my lifetime and a top 20 snow I believe for Nashville in its history might be top 15 I'll have to check the record books but yeah January 16th don't get me started I would be rambling for an hour about that day but and then we'll top it off with a message that I sing, not just at Christmas, but during the winter months. Let it snow. Three exclamation points, or emphasis, and to represent the nature of the song. All right, it's 6 a.m. on Tuesday morning, January 16th. Officially 15 years from the winter storm that brought seven inches of snow to Nashville in just a couple hours, if I recall correctly. And finally, we have a stretch of moderate snow occurring. Some decent returns overhead. It's been a frustrating night in the sense that a band of moderate to heavy snow seemed just stuck here or rather st seemed stuck just to our northwest by like 20, 30 miles. It wasn't budging much, but it is budged finally. This is a scene from my parents' house in Brentwood. Snow in our freaking foot. Hey Cameron, before you go, I want to take a picture of you and me in the snow. Absolutely. Snow in the snow. I, I, wish, snow we, I wish we could uh, go sledding like we did that one time. Oh, that was a blast. But, uh, no, it's doable. Oh, um, that was one of the funnest days of my life when we went over on that street and did like... More moderate snow falling. You can see we're just about to cover the grass here. So it's going down a good chunk about three inches, Ooh. between two and a half and three anyway, depending on where I measure, so. 
Whew. Look how powdery this stuff is. It's about 13 degrees. Most of this has fallen in the teens, so you get those high ratios and usually you get some nice fluffy action. That sweet, elegant grace of fallen snow. It seriously is unlike anything else in the universe. Which is why this winter weather enthusiast, this crazy storm chasing weather weenie, enjoys its occurrence. I've been in Nashville, or been in Tennessee for a quarter century, and it never gets old. So you guess you could say, my heaven is going to be full of white gold. Ha! <laughs> and that rhyme. Is that all you know? Yes. Go down and see what people are doing.